Welcome. In the previous episode of the chapter Structural Organization in Animals, we discussed regarding the cellular level, the organ level, the organ system level. We also discussed about the different types of tissues which are found in the animals, the epithelial, the connective, the muscular and the neural. We also discussed regarding the different types of epithelial tissues and connective tissues. In this episode, we will be discussing regarding the different types of muscular tissues, the neural tissues and the anatomy of earthworm whose scientific name is Ferretema under Annelida. The muscular tissues, they are found in the muscles and these tissues, they are long cylindrical fibers arranged parallelly. Here the fibers are made up of fine fibrils which are called myofibrils. They are responsible for the movement in our body and these muscular tissues are of three types. They are the skeletal, the smooth and the cardiac. Now regarding the characteristics of the skeletal tissues, they are bundled together in a parallel fashion that is each of the cells they run parallel to each other and a tough connective tissue encloses the bundle. The smooth muscular tissues, they have a tapering end, both the ends taper and they do not show any striations as found in the earlier tissues. They have cell junctions which hold them together, which is the connective tissue sheath and they are also known as the involuntary tissues. They are found in the blood vessels, stomach, as well as in the intestine. The cardiac tissues, these are the contractile tissues which are found in the heart. Here the cell junctions fuse the plasma membranes and make them stick together. They have communication joints which allow the cells to contract as a unit. The next type of tissue is the neural tissue. It is also known as the nervous tissue these are the unit of neural cells and they are the excitable cells. If we have a look at the structure of the neural tissues, we see that it has a cell body which is known as the cyton, a nucleus which is quite prominent, the dendrites which are the receptors, the axon and the myelin sheath which covers it. They have nodes of Ranvier and the axon terminals. In the previous episodes, we also discussed regarding the different cellular level, the cellular level of organization that how a cell or a group of cells, they aggregate and form the tissues. These tissues in turn form the organ, for example, the organ which is found in our human body, the liver, the stomach and these organs then make up uh, organ system, be it the digestive system, the reproductive system or the circulatory system. We will be discussing regarding the morphology and anatomy of earthworm, cockroach and frog. We will see that there is a distinct difference between the morphology. We have dealt with morphology in the earlier chapters that is the study of the external structure of the organisms and anatomy the internal structure of the organisms. Regarding the morphology of earthworm, that is how they look from outside. They have a long cylindrical body and the body is divided into more than 100 short segments which are similar, that is they are known as the metamers. The dorsal surface of the body has median mid dorsal line which runs along the longitudinal axis of the body. On the ventral surface, they have the genital opening. On their anterior end, they have the mouth and the prostomium, which is sensory in function. The first body segment in earthworm is known as the peristomium. From the 14th to the 16th segment, they have the presence of clitellum. 
Their body is distinctly divided into three regions. They are the preclitaler, the clitaler, and the postclitaler. Anatomy of earthworm or the study of the internal structures of earthworm. The body is covered externally by a non cellular cuticle, which is thin layered. Below that is the epidermis and two muscle layers, which are circular and longitudinal. And they have an innermost silomic epithelium. The epidermis is made up of single layer of columnar epithelial cells, which are secretory in function. The elementary canal includes organs like mouth, pharynx, esophagus, gizzard, stomach, pre typhlosolar part of intestine, intestinal cecum, lymph gland, the typhlosolar part of intestine, the intestinal lumen and the typhlosol. Regarding the circulatory system, they have a closed circulatory system which consists of the heart, the blood vessels and the capillaries. Blood glands are present in them and they produce the blood cells and hemoglobin which remain dissolved in the plasma. They have four pairs of pulsatile heart. The contraction of the heart keeps the blood circulating in one direction. If we have a look at the blood cells, we also find that these blood cells, they are phagocytic in nature. Respiration in earthworm, they do not have any special respiratory system. They carry on cutaneous respiration, that is with the help of skin. Their nervous system is made up of the ganglia and the nerve ring. Regarding the sense organs, they have the receptor cells for light and touch and they also have chemoreceptors. The excretory organs of earthworm. The excretory organs of earthworm includes the segmentally arranged coiled tubular organ called the nephridia. There are three types of nephridia. These are the septal, the integumentary and the pharyngeal. The septal nephridia, they are present on both the sides of intersegmental septa. The integumentary nephridia, they are attached to the lining of the body wall and the pharyngeal nephridia, they are found in the fourth, fifth and the sixth segments. Reproductive system, earthworm are hermaphrodite animals. The testes and ovaries, they are found in the same body. The other organs of the reproductive system are the vasa differentia, the accessory glands, the prostate and spermatic duct, four pairs of spermatica, ovid funnels, oviduct, female genital pore. Earthworm are of economic importance. Vermicomposting is another important thing. Vermicomposting, this is increasing the fertility of the soil. We know that they are generally known as the friends of farmers because they make the soil porous as a result of which the roots, the developing roots, they found it very easy for their penetration as well as to carry out the process of respiration. Let us have a quick recap of the portion we studied in this episode. We studied about the muscle tissues, the types of muscle tissues, the skeletal, the smooth and cardiac tissues, the neural tissues, which are the excitable cells, the parts of the neural tissues, and under the organ and organ system, we studied about morphology of earthworm and under the anatomy of earthworm, we studied about the elementary canal, the circulatory system, the respiration, the nervous system, the sense organs, the excretory organs, the reproductive system, and how earthworm are useful to us. We'll continue with this chapter in the next episode where we'll be discussing regarding the morphology and anatomy of cockroach which comes under arthropoda and
frog which comes under amphibia. Thank you.